the internet and the information age it sparked has created a seismic shift that completely changed how we live and communicate. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for key discoveries, eras, technological achievements, and watershed moments that reshaped civilization. For everything that our culture and our civilization depends on starts with Gutenberg's invention. Number 10, September 11th attacks. The unthinkable happened today. The World Trade Center, both towers, Gone. The September 11th attacks on the World Trade Center and Pentagon radically shifted geopolitics forever. In the wake of the end of the Cold War, the West had shifted into the complacency of a 90s boom. One renowned philosopher even called the era, quote, the end of history. Yeah, not so much. The U.S. and its allies soon invaded Afghanistan. By liberating Donna, we free the, the local populace from the influence of the Taliban. They're able to go about their daily lives. A smaller coalition followed up with another invasion into Iraq, and decades of conflict and turmoil ensued, and are still ongoing. 9-11 had so many repercussions on both individual lives and collective world history. The job of a president is to protect the American people from harm. And some presidents don't need to worry about that, and some do. And it turns out I was one that did. Number nine, the Holocaust. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. I saw the way at Auschwitz. The doors opened, terror hit us immediately. In the modern era, where an estimated one in five young Americans don't believe the Holocaust happened, this statement still rings true. We've seen entertainers like Kanye West share anti-Semitic tropes. Even former President Trump had dinner with a prominent Holocaust you know, denier. The Holocaust during World War II was Germany's monstrous, systematic, state-sponsored persecution and mass murder of millions of Jewish people, as well as other groups the Nazis targeted. Hitler ordered a rounding up of Jews, as well as other groups he hated, including gay people, Roma gypsies, and people with disabilities. It taught the world that turning a blind eye to human rights abuses has horrific consequences. The UN passed the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948, after the war. Number 8. The Great Depression. In 1929, a stock market crash on Wall Street spread economic contagion around the world. Wherever you looked, boys and girls were uh, men and women were uh, wondering what was ever going to happen to them. The Great Depression was a moment of great change for the world. Widespread economic suffering and hunger led people to rethink the role of government in their lives. I remember uh, looking behind uh, the ma markets, the garbage cans, looking for, for like, like head, head lettuce. Some, like the U.S. with the New Deal, turned to a variety of governmental social welfare systems. Governments were acknowledged to have responsibility to create a social safety net. Other countries turned to the lures of totalitarianism and fascism. They used force and terror to rebuild their empires. This tension between authoritarianism and egalitarianism still defines geopolitics in the 21st century. Number seven, the American Revolution. All of a sudden you have this group of people who are going, no, we're not part of some great chain of being with the king at the top of it. We are free people. We, we can vote for who we want to have in charge. When Britain's colonies in the New World rebelled and achieved independence, it was one of the first instances of a colonial nation defeating their mother country. A new time for humankind, which is that we can be free and that we can make decisions for ourselves. More importantly, the newly formed United States brought an ancient form of governance back to life. As a democratic republic in a world of empires, the United States represented a major blow to the mystique of aristocrats, emperors, kings, and despots. Though America's democracy was and is deeply flawed, it was one of the first modern instances of government by and for the people. If you review our Declaration of Independence, it has those beautiful words about all men are created equal and governments are formed among men to represent the people. It was a good statement of what we were all about. It inspired a similar revolution in France and represented a beacon of hope for oppressed peoples. Today, civilizations around the world have turned to Republican and parliamentary democracies. Number six, assassination of Archduke Ferdinand II. From a pistol shot at Sarajevo, the first of the great modern world wars explode. It's hard to imagine that the death of a single man could reshape an entire century. That's exactly what happened, however, when Serbian nationalists assassinated the heir to their Austro-Hungarian throne. 
The killing triggered a series of alliances and dragged the world into war. Austria-Hungary declares war on Serbia. Russia, Serbia's ally, mobilizes its forces and as a result, Germany declares war on Russia. Russia's ally, France, then mobilizes its forces, which causes Germany to declare war on France. The Great War changed the map of Europe and the world in innumerable ways. The aftermath of World War I over the decades also contributed enormously to World War II which battered the planet and led to tens of millions of deaths. Essentially what happened is that you create such an unstable economy and so much animosity between nations that you're just seeding the field of war to rise and grow again. In the aftermath of the Second Great War, European empires fell. For the first time in centuries, the world entered a period of decolonization and self-rule. Number five. Columbus discovers America. August 1492. Italian mariner Christopher Columbus prepares to sail west from southern Spain. The age of exploration began with the invention of ships that could traverse oceans and circumnavigate the globe. In 1492, Christopher Columbus, an Italian commissioned by the Spanish, quote-unquote, discovered the New World. There were already people living here for millennia. And he wasn't even the first European to visit. The Norse had settled Newfoundland almost 500 years before. The European discovery of two new Western continents dramatically changed the course of human history. Dozens of indigenous civilizations eventually fell from European diseases, wars of conquest, and persecution. They were replaced by French, English, Spanish, and Portuguese colonies. Wealth was extracted. And over the centuries, countries like Mexico, the United States, Canada, and Brazil formed and grew. Number four, the launch of Sputnik. A man-made celestial body for the first time in history overcame terrestrial gravity and flew into space. Less than half a century after the Wright brothers invented the airplane, humanity began ascending objects into space. When the Soviet Union launched their Sputnik satellite into orbit, the eyes of the world were lifted upwards to the stars. Sputnik's technology was primitive. A rudimentary sphere with a simple radio transmitter that beeped. The space race began as the U.S. and Russia competed to develop newer and better spacefaring technology. More importantly, Sputnik was just the first of thousands of satellites sent into orbit. Global positioning, cell phones, television, and the internet are just a few of the ways satellites are integrated into the 21st century. Satellite surveillance and positioning are key parts of intelligence gathering and military campaigns. Accurate weather forecasting relies on satellite surveillance. Data from satellites are even used for crop management. Today, the global satellite industry is a $208 billion business. But that relatively small number belies how rapidly our dependence on satellite technology continues to expand. Number three, the Gutenberg printing press. For everything that our culture and our civilization depends on starts with Gutenberg's invention. The printing press was a game changer in the evolution of human technology and thought. For most of human history, the written word was a luxury for the elite. The printing press and mass production leveled the playing field. Glittering proof that a new information age was dawning in Europe. It spread the availability of knowledge, allowing commoners access to education. The bourgeoisie, a new class of educated tradesmen, came into being. Commerce, knowledge, and talent could, for the first time in human history, be as important as one's status at birth. It was a necessary precursor to the Age of Enlightenment, which sparked a transition to a modern, relatively more egalitarian world. For the next 500 years, his method of printing was used to make books everywhere. His was the machine that made us. Number two, the invention of the internet. The internet and the information age it sparked has created a seismic shift that completely changed how we live and communicate. Human civilization is now in its second generation of the internet age. Young people today may have difficulty fully understanding just how much the internet has changed the planet. People in India can video chat in real time with someone in London. Students in South Africa can connect with counterparts in China on social media. The world is smaller and faster than it was 50 years ago. International business now happens at the speed of thought. Political movements have become global. Though it has become completely ubiquitous, few saw the internet coming and no one could have predicted its impact. Unfortunately, dangers have spread like wildfire too. 
Misinformation, propaganda, and conspiracies can now circle the world before the truth wakes up in the morning. Love it, hate it, or both, there can be no doubt. The 21st century is the century of the internet. All while connection speeds ramp up exponentially, the question now becomes, what could possibly be next? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable and dishonorable mentions. COVID-19 outbreak. Mass death and global shutdowns have had world historical impacts. It's now the deadliest year in U.S. history. Since late March, the U.S. has led the world with the most cases and the most deaths. The fall of Rome. Rome's decline began a long, dark period of history. At its height, it seemed like it would rule forever. And today, it's a distant memory. The fall of the Berlin Wall. The tearing down of the wall signaled the end of the Cold War. Nobody could believe this was real. It was a miracle. The Black Death. The plague killed half of Europe. But as much tragedy as the disease has caused, it also helped drive crucial scientific and social progress. Invention of the assembly line. The assembly line sparked a manufacturing revolution. Did you know that Tesla produces one brand new Tesla every 30 seconds at their Giga Shanghai facility? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number one, understanding electricity. After explaining the similarities he saw between electricity and lightning, including the color, crooked formation, and crackling sound, he was the first to suggest an experiment to prove a connection. As every American student learned as a kid, Ben Franklin was a scientist in addition to being a founding father. In 1752, he flew a kite during a storm and proved that lightning was made of electricity. The resulting electricity in the air charged the metal key that he had tied to the end of the string. Franklin touched his knuckles to the key and sparks jumped from the key to his hand. Despite common misconceptions, Franklin didn't actually technically discover electricity in 1752. It had already been a part of scientific experiments for thousands of years. His experiment, however, was central to understanding the nature of electricity and harnessing its power. News spread quickly of Franklin's electrical amusements, as he called his experiments, making him the most celebrated man of science in the world. By the end of the 19th century, the light bulb and electric power spread throughout everyday life. Today, electricity is the driver of modern society. What other moments in history should be included? Let us know in the comments. Wikipedia, mankind's greatest invention. You can learn about anything. 